So net logo. This is what you see when you launch net logo. You have the world here, and uh, there's buttons here. Um, so this is the world where your agents are going to live or your turtles. And if you hit settings here, you can change the specifics about your world. You see right now the center of the world is a two-dimensional grid with the center as 0, 0, and it goes from minus 16 to 16. The coordinates, uh, by the way, are real numbers. So you can be at, you know, 0.11 and comma 0.5 or whatever. And then uh, the world itself is filled with these visible patches, uh, which are uh, right now of uh, 13 by 13 pixels. Uh, and there's, you know, 16, well, this many. Uh, so each, uh, around 0, 0, there's a patch, and around 1, 1, there's a patch of size 1 by 1, uh, which is 13 pixels. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, talk about the turtles. Now, over here, down here, you have the command center, and here you can type commands like uh, create turtles1, and you see I just created my turtle, so a turtle is an agent, it's the basic building block um, for your NetLogo models, and uh, they look like that. You can create one there, and when you try to get it to move, you can ask it nicely. Uh, you can say, ask turtles to move forward 10, and boom, he moves forward 10. So this here, this is a little REPL uh, where you can type in commands and ask your turtles, or you know, do anything really. Um, you can also, by the way, you can right click on a turtle and you can inspect either the turtle, right? You can uh, inspect it, which will pop up this this thing here with all the local variables of the turtle. So this is nice uh, for debugging. Uh, so you can see the turtle are close up. You can see each turtle has a who number, which starts at zero and then goes zero one. So this is a unique ID for the turtle. It has a color. The heading, right, so zero is uh, heading up, and then goes clockwise from that, so the turtle is at 331 right now. The x-coordinate and y-coordinates of the turtle, you see negative real number, positive real number, uh, a label, etc. And uh, so that's the turtle, you also saw, uh, I could also do a similar thing for the patches, right? So that's that patch over there. And uh, you see it got highlighted and I can inspect it and uh, view the patches uh, don't move, you know, they just stay there. And uh, you can, uh, well, that's it. So they only basically have a, a, a color. You can change the color and you can change the label of them. So the turtles are what you use for moving around. Now, so typing down here is nice. Uh, I can ask the turtles. Uh, to the, the other thing you can do is ask the turtles to move their pen down. So each turtle has a little pen, uh, imagine it, and that's sitting underneath the pen. And when he moves the pen down, then after moving his pen down, if he moves forward 10, the pen will draw a line, right? Because he's writing, because his pen is down. And then if you move the pen up, uh, and then forward 10, the turtle moves, but it doesn't draw a line anymore. So that's another sort of layer, right? You have your patches, and by the way, you can ask to ask all the patches to change their colors. I can ask patches to set P color uh, white, and uh, they will all turn white, which I prefer, I really like. Um, so there you go. Now, so, so far we've been typing down here. When you're writing your program, you're gonna go up here, you see we're in the interface tab. There's also an info tab where you can document your model and then there's the code tab. And here you can write code. Uh, so we're gonna write the two setup function, clear all, create turtles one, and So that's a little, this is how you write a function in that logo. You say to, then the function name, then your commands, then end. And uh, basically your program is going to be a bunch of these, right? So it's going to be to do stuff, do stuff, um, as turtles to say go forward one. And uh, let's go rename that to go. So that's 
mostly what your program is going to be a bunch of functions one after the other. Um, okay, so here you did the setup function. I said to set up clear all. That means clear everything. So if we go back to the interface, if I type clear all, it's going to get rid of everything, just kill all the turtles, bring everything back to normal. Normally, you're going to have a setup method like this that does that. The first thing it does is clear all and also uh, reset ticks. Uh, that clears the time, right? So the ticks are here. Uh, right now, there's isn't one because we haven't started. And then I create a turtle, right? So that's my setup function. Now I want to, you know, I could call it from here, setup, and it does it. And every time I call it, you know, it creates a new turtle. Notice that each time I'm creating a turtle out of random color with a random heading, though always at zero, zero. Uh, but that's kind of annoying, you know, what you want is really to add a button. So you go over here and here and just type in setup, hit OK. So now we have a button and when the I click on this button, I call the setup function. So you see, every time I click on it, I'm calling the setup function. Pretty easy, right? So this is the awesome thing about Netlog where you can build a little GUI uh, painlessly. and um, so that lets you play around with it, and you can see there's also all kinds of widgets you have, sliders, switches, choosers, and we'll see those later on. So, okay, I got my turtle there. Let's go back to my code. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a turtle, and let's do like a random walk. Uh, so generally, what you're going to have is more than one button. You have a, a setup button. Uh, which is a call to set up your world and then you're gonna have a go button which is like a play button uh, which is the one that actually runs your model All right, so you set up and then you go 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 and that gets annoying too so you also add another button which is also a go button but this one is a forever button and uh, that means that the button is gonna you see when you make it forever you get that in there um, so that means that net logo is now just gonna keep calling that button so if I press it it just keeps going go 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 all the time and uh, because the world wraps around that's what's happening see uh, when we get to the end of the world he just wraps around so when I press the go infinite he just goes around and around hopefully you can see that uh, okay, so let's do a little random walk, right? So that's pretty standard. Um, going forward one is kind of boring. So I'm going to create the turtles. And uh, I can also, as I create them, I can uh, ask the turtles to do stuff. So I'm going to ask the turtles to set this pen down. So I create the turtle, one turtle. I ask it to set this pen down. Then I'm going to, he's going to move forward one. But before that, um, uh, we're gonna set his heading uh, so I can ask the turtles uh, to set a heading and uh, you know if I set it to zero it's gonna point up there it is uh, what I want to do is I want to you know, set his heading to uh, his current heading uh, plus or minus a random number and uh, so first net logo has a random method so if I type random 10 it's going to give me a random number between uh, 0 and 9 uh, every time I do it and uh, so 1 is just always going to give me 0 first and so what I want to do is add plus or minus a uh, random number so uh, set heading to be and I can use parentheses just for clarity heading plus so random and random between you know plus 45 and minus 45 so that means uh, a number 90 uh, so we have 90 degrees and 45 minus that is going to give us plus or minus uh, 45 degrees something like that right and uh, I think that's it so now we go back to the interface and set up and uh, go, go, go. So you see he's doing a bit of a random walk. And, uh, you know, we do that and fills up the screen pretty quickly. So it's quite fast. Um, 
you can change the speed see if you can make it slower and then you can see a little bit of what it's doing so you see that's a random walk with plus or minus 45 degrees now one of the things we like to do here is um, um, we can set up a slider make this a variable angle and the minimum maximum is going to be uh, 360 degrees and let's say the default value is uh, 90 degrees so um, so what we have here is a slider that changes the angle variable from 0 to 360 and uh, now we can use that right so we can go back to our code and instead of a uh, Putting this here, we can say random 90 instead of having 90. I can say random angle, and uh, and then this is 45. So this is uh, angle divided by two. All right, and then I can go back here, set up, and go. And so you see, and if I increase this angle, this random walk gets a little bit more scraggly. And if I make it smaller, his random walk is a little bit more direct. So, oh, less drunk, more drunk. <laughs> so there you go, something like that. Um, so that's a good start. Oh, one last thing is just because this is something we do is that you should usually put a tick variable there uh or tick function call so now every time i hit go the ticks you see ticks two two three four five the ticks increase uh and that we that's you we use that a lot right so this is your basic all your programs should look something like this they should have a setup function and a go function and uh in your simulation basically the way it works is you're going to call go 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 for each time step time time will be discrete in these ticks right so the tick uh, controls is the time really and uh, so set up resets the ticks and go increases the tick variable by just calling tick uh, if you need to get the actual value of the tick number you know I said time 10 then you use ticks uh, with an s and that's a variable uh, but uh, put that tick in there and uh, play around with it